Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Libra. How are you guys this week, Libra? Uh, if you didn't see the video last week, you'll need to log in because it was flagged as inappropriate for uh, under 18. I can't really figure out why for sure because um, I haven't really changed anything I'm doing but do make sure you're logged into your YouTube account if you want to see my videos. I, it's random. I don't know when or if any more will be flagged. <laughs> okay so just wanted to bring that to your attention. Actually the last two weeks your readings have been so we'll see what's happening there. So Libra let's see what's going on. The overall energy surrounding Libra. There we go. So I see rest and reconsider. Yeah, someone's about to take the lead here. So someone may be re reconsidering something. Now this could be a leadership position, a job. Okay, you may be reconsidering it. Or somebody may be coming in to actually you know, take the lead. Libra. What does Libra need to know? Yeah, so I do see an energy of someone moving on. See, it's an energy of abundance, somebody moving on. So someone may be reconsidering that. It could go either way, okay, well, with this energy. Let's pull out one more. Libra, what does Libra need to know? Overall energy surrounding Libra. What does Libra need to know? This one here wants to come out, yeah. So there are some dreams coming true. Someone could be moving away from someone else, coming towards you. Yeah, it's like an Eight of Cups energy. Someone's searching for something. But if somebody was planning on walking away or you know, they didn't want to take the lead, they may reconsider. you. And it could be yourself deciding to move on. But we have dreams coming true. See, something is coming to an end here. We have a nine. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, it's often just a person searching, looking for something else. We'll see. Maybe somebody walked away and they're just reconsidering that. Maybe why? Let's have a look. Libra. What does Libra need to know about the overall energies surrounding you? Libra. There we go. Yeah. So it's definitely an energy of someone who's walked away. But this is a person who's searching for something new. Someone's looking for something. Yeah. There we have the strength. That has to do with someone being confident. So it has to do with the confidence here. Someone may have walked away because they didn't feel confident. Be reconsidering that, you know, there was some kind of confusion, maybe some kind of fear, things that are hidden. It's often energy of someone going within, doing a little shadow work. It has to do with someone facing a fear. Maybe it's somebody was afraid you would walk away from them. Sometimes people have a fear of abandonment, you know, they walk away so that the other person can't walk away from them. So we're going to see what this is all about with the moon. We have some Leo, some uh, Cancer energy here. Yeah, so it's, it's trusting your intuition here. So this is someone who may have been keeping some kind of a secret. Okay, something they were keeping. But this is the person who's going within. Into me, I see. Now you probably already know, okay? You probably already know everything you need to know. But I feel this is someone who already knew something here. Yeah, there's an energy of someone who felt like there was no hope. They were focused on the negative. You know, this is someone who had probably just lacked confidence here. They were focused on the cups that were spilled. So it could be someone who walked away from somebody else. Maybe they kept it to themselves. Yeah, a little shot of work. This is, uh, it could be a fear of intimacy, emotional intimacy. Mm-hmm. There we have it. This is someone showing their true self. I feel someone didn't show their true self. See, there was a rejection. Somebody feels they've now missed an opportunity. They failed to see something that they're now seeing after taking a little rest. You know, they're reconsidering. And it could be you. Yeah, so we have someone definitely out yeah, there. We have manifesting. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I feel it's an energy of someone here who probably didn't made some kind of choice or decision overall here. And it has to do with dating and courting. It has to do with manifesting, having all the tools, having all the information they need. This is someone who's learned something. It's also a person who's learned to move on, you see, knowing when to move on to avoid a disaster. But this is a person who's manifesting, kind of you know, learning something from this. This is someone who probably didn't take enough time to get to know you. So I feel there was you know, someone doing shadow work, facing some kind of fear here. Fear that you may walk away because it's here twice. 
Yeah, see? Someone's soul-searching their life path, looking for clues and answers. It's a little contemplating here. But this is the courting card. This is someone who often just, you know, comes in wanting to date, exploring their feelings. You see? Taking more time to get to know someone. So it's an energy of someone who actually has everything they need. They already know everything they need to know. You see? Yeah. This person knows. You know, too. Let's have a look at the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is, a, yeah, see, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, see? I feel like this is an energy where, now this could be yourself or it could be this person. Now the Queen of uh, Pentacles is someone who's focused a lot on money. So there may have been someone here who walked away from this person, okay? Um, but it's a person who's, it's something to do with past energy, it has to do with this opportunity of fresh new start. See, somebody wanted this cup. It's an energy where, the, you know, it's an energy of someone who's not so sure they see a future with someone because they wanted this cup, this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Some of you may walk away because you have another opportunity. Let's have a look at what's going on here. Let's have a look at strength. Yeah, see, someone failing to recognize an opportunity. Oh, maybe someone rejected you. They didn't feel confident. But I feel it's someone here. It took a lot of strength for someone to walk away. You see? Yeah, there's something hidden, things that are hidden. Some, it, sometimes it's an energy where things just get very confusing. You see? Someone may have been a little bit confused. We'll see what this moon energy is about. We have some Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you may have some Virgo in your chart. Or, like I say, this is somebody who went off on their own path. They may This could be another person who moved on. If this isn't your person, this could be who they walked away from. Now we'll see. The moon, why is this here? Yeah, we have someone changing their focus. See, it's energy of change of focus. Yeah. So there is some kind of reminiscing. Some of you may have a new crush. You've just changed your focus, you see. But I feel someone's missing you. Someone's longing for love. Someone has failed to recognize. Re failed to recognize this opportunity. You know, they're, like I say, someone didn't feel confident here. Yeah, let's have a look at rest and reconsider. Yeah, see, there's a love, a bond, a connection. There's something to do with this bond between two people. There's love here. It's Feeling differently. Sometimes, you know, the rest and reconsider is just sleeping on it, you know. Just kind of clearing out negative thoughts and energies. Just kind of sleeping on it. Feeling fresher in the morning, you see. Feeling a little better about something. But that princess of, of wands tells me someone changed their focus. Someone may have been focused on another person. But I see a little Gemini here. Let's have a look at the love. Yeah, someone was weighing the pros and the cons, should I or shouldn't I? So there was someone procrastinating here. It's a person maybe, someone may have been juggling, it's possible. There may have been another option. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who likes to feel uh, safe and secure, also financially stable. This is someone who likes to feel comfortable, like to be able to be themselves with somebody. So yeah, definitely someone comparing someone to another person. Okay, something may have felt a little off here. But it's, I feel it often it's a person struggling with a decision. Let's have a look at the high priestess. Why is this here? Yeah, see, someone failed to recognize. They failed to see. Yeah, so we have the queen of wands. Now, this could be yourself, could be another person. But I feel it has to do with someone failing to see. That someone here knows what they want and they're not settling. So someone kind of just doing their own thing. You know, could be yourself just doing you, keeping to yourself. You know, it's like you've just completely changed focus if it's yourself. Got someone focused on their money here. Not so much their love life either. Let's have a look at the Five of Cups. Yeah, see, rest and reconsider, clearing out negative thoughts, energy, taking a little break. Yeah, some of you are working a lot. You probably could use a break if you're feeling emotionally drained. But, you know, this is an energy where both people may have failed to recognize something. Some, it's about someone taking the lead. Maybe you're the leader. Maybe they wanted you to take the lead. But I feel like you just changed your focus. You're doing you. You know what you want. You're not settling. So something here wasn't good enough. 
Uh, it wasn't right. I and mean, it's possible someone may not be your type. But, you know, you see that contemplation. Someone on their own path looking for clues and answers. Somebody wants to know why. Let's have a look at the Four of Cups. Yeah, so there's been some kind of change or transformation after a break. Someone's changing how they feel about a situation. Yeah, taking the lead. This is two people connecting a soulmate connection. Where is my soulmate? Two people searching for the same thing. See, it's here twice. Walking away. Where is my soulmate? There's some kind of connection here. This is two people who already know there's a, a special connection. I feel this person knows. Yeah, see, someone was a little detached and they were less emotionally connected. So this is sometimes a person who acts aloof, acts like they're not interested when they are. We have a person who was keeping a secret. They were keeping something to themselves. Now, it could be someone who chose someone who was younger, okay? Somebody who's a little younger. It could be something to do with children. But it's a person who's longing for love, that they have some kind of fear. Now, yeah, it could be a single parent energy as well. But there it is. See, it has to do with being patient. See, somebody um, it's not really invested, showing or not showing that they're not invested. See, it has to do maybe with the timing. Maybe the timing was off here. Is it all, the timing could be off because someone walked away from someone else or sometimes and it's funny I'm expecting to see the five of pentacles that fear of abandonment yeah but it has to do with investing hoping something pays off so I feel this is someone who's about to take the lead yeah they're they've been spending time alone contemplating see this is someone who didn't get what they wanted because they walked away now this is often a person who if they don't get what they want they just move on yeah, I feel like, you know, from yourself, your own point of view, we have this Aries Leo Sag. Now, this is an energy here, I feel, with someone who knows what they want. It could be you. I also see a Scorpio energy. Yeah, someone may have been juggling or weighing the pros and the cons, comparing you to someone else. Okay, vice versa. Let's have a look at this Knight of Cups. What the heck is going on? Yeah, there it is. See, starting things off on the right foot. So something didn't start off on the right foot. Now, I wonder if this is someone who walked away or someone else walked away from them. They may have came towards you and offered you something. They started something. There's the cup, some kind of uh, communication and invitation. But it's almost like someone here is taking another, walking away because they have another opportunity. But someone's missed this opportunity. See, that's what I feel because they lacked the confidence. Someone's not feeling confident about this. It could have to do with children. But it's generally longing. It's also an energy of keeping things simple. Uh, it's also an energy of it's so much easier when you're younger. Like this could be, you know, um, somebody you knew when you were young and you moved on. Because I see somebody leveling up here. And so someone definitely knows what they want. Maybe you weren't sure what you wanted. Or this person wasn't sure about what they wanted. And someone knows what they want here. See, it's an energy of someone who... You know, somebody failed to recognize. Into me, I see. Someone already knows everything they need to know. You know. There's some kind of indecision possibly too. Yeah, so there could have been other people involved. There's the birth of something new. This is an energy of someone who has a lot to offer. See, it has to do with control. This energy of someone, maybe somebody was trying to control somebody. Um, it's an energy of also letting go of control. Someone may have failed to recognize that they were controlling or someone was trying to control them. But there's the energy. This is someone taking their power back. See, I feel like there was somebody else involved, maybe another person. Now, there could be just gossip and talk, too many people involved, but it looks like it has to do with some sort of invitation. Maybe you were wanting something you didn't get, an invitation. Maybe you wanted to meet someone's friends and they chose to walk away instead. Yeah, it's this energy of someone keeping secrets here and keeping something to themselves. But I feel like you already know with the Empress. Okay, this is someone who failed to recognize this opportunity with the Empress. Someone who has a lot of abundance, has a lot to offer. You see? Yeah, we got someone here. This could be yourself here, Libra. Or I also see a Gemini here. Oh, my goodness. Tell me about the magician. Yeah, strong Gemini energy in this reading. Libra. 
So let's have a look at the magician. I'll tell you one thing. They find you very, you know, sexy, charming, attractive, someone who knows what they want, not afraid to go after. It could be someone who's popular. See, somebody who's open to other options. See, so this could be something here or maybe you, you were open. But, uh, you know, this is someone who failed to see all this energy. They failed to see it or they were indecisive, maybe back and forth. Uh, between you and someone else maybe they were comparing you to someone else when they were younger uh, someone younger oh yeah what's going on here libra let's have a look at the magician yeah see there it is ten of cups somebody putting their best foot forward opening up emotionally putting all the cups on the table it takes two people two people putting all their cups on the table sharing their you know, their fears, their hopes, what it is that they want, what makes them happy. So this person's manifesting emotional fulfillment. So this is a person who's seeing the bigger picture, you see. Let's have a look at the Six of Swords. Why is this here? Yeah, it has to do with someone planning for something to be successful. See? If it's not, it's about moving on calmly and peacefully but someone's learning something they're manifesting they're gathering info see they're gathering the wisdom because it's a person who i feel is feeling determined that this actually can be someone's reconsidering they're seeing something different maybe seeing you different okay because that's what i feel is happening here and it has to do with this person taking the lead i feel like you know, i don't think you're chasing after this person okay so i feel it has to do with I feel this is someone who has a sense of pride. Maybe their ego's getting in the way. Or often it's a person who the grass is always greener on the other side. So, you know, like I say, it's somebody who often walks away. If they don't get what they want, they get it from somewhere else. Uh, watch out for the red flags here. But I do see somebody coming in, starting something more solid and reliable. You see? Someone's feeling sentimental here, but I do see... Uh, secrets this is something with somebody was maybe hiding something and maybe even hiding it from themselves people do that they don't want to look at it they don't want to see it they don't <laughs> that's why i feel into me i see someone's going within on their life path see soul searching why they didn't get what they want it's a person who's never been completely fulfilled they've never got everything they wanted but it's often a person if they don't get what they want they move on this is someone who didn't get what they wanted they didn't get what they wanted i feel so this is why i feel they're reconsidering i feel they're coming to talk to communicate they're going to offer something this is starting things off on the right foot dating uh, courting yeah let's have this see what this dreams come true is about here let me just put this card back in order i was shuffling and talking dreams come true why is this here yeah, see, someone pushed someone away. See, that's an energy of someone who's guarded, defensive, pushing someone away. This is somebody who, you know, I feel defensive in energy. You know, someone may have judged you, been very critical. I can see that with this energy of someone who's very critical. They're, yeah, so what's the word? Um, maybe a little fickle or something here. Um wishy-washy someone who kind of you know back and forth can't make up their mind maybe they were juggling you and somebody who was younger maybe you're the younger person <laughs> could go either way but it has to do with marriage and material it has to do with someone focused on money somebody who's financially stable see this is the opportunity they may have gotten another opportunity and chose to walk away they may have had an another an opportunity with somebody here that they were missing that they walked away from you see this is what i feel is happening here so let's have a look at this um, ace of pentacles there it is yeah see somebody felt like they weren't good enough ghosted someone for someone else they got another opportunity but this is an energy of someone um there's definitely lack they never got what they wanted there was a lot of lack now it's often a person who sometimes feels they don't have enough money they keep it to themselves keeping a secret so it's something to do with someone who's financially stable younger but more financially stable this is someone i feel who now, tried to do the right thing but they are after a rest after a break this person's reconsidering this 
You see, should I or shouldn't I invest in this? Should I? I feel they're going to take the lead. They need to take the lead. I actually feel this is someone who likes to take the lead. If you took the lead, I feel this is someone who doesn't really like that, especially if it's a Gemini. I know, I know a lot of Geminis, and, and I'm going to tell you, they actually like to be the one to make those decisions. Uh, at least um, Geminis who have a habit of being very indecisive, very analytical, you see. But there's this energy of keeping something a secret. This person already knows everything they need to know. I feel like you know everything you need to know about them too. You see, that's why I feel like you know this person. Uh, but I feel there was definitely lack and loneliness. Something to do with the lack of money. You see? Yes. There's definitely lack, I'll tell you. See, there it is. This could be someone at a distance. They may have actually moved on or relocated. You see? Maybe they had to uh, travel for work. Yeah, they were dating. I Someone might have been dating you and someone else at the same time and they couldn't make up their mind that somebody was younger. Now, it could be somebody who wanted children. It's also a person who may have been at the time in their life where, you know, the biological clock is ticking. Somebody offered this person something. They wanted a fresh new start because this is why this person walked away is this opportunity. You know, some kind of reconciliation, someone from childhood when they were young. Okay, somebody they were in love with. But I'm going to tell you, I feel this is somebody who had a lot of feelings here. Okay, somebody who had a lot of feelings. I actually feel like you've changed your focus, though, because I feel like you know what you want. You're not settling. It wasn't good enough, you see. But I actually feel this person ended up getting rejected by this person. They didn't get what they wanted. So I do feel they're coming towards you. They may be traveling, wanting to come and see you. Okay. But I, I feel that you want to be a little bit careful with this energy. You want to make sure this person just doesn't tell you what you want to hear. Now, I would watch for the red flags. I think your guard will be up. But there is this energy of letting down the guard, you see? Letting down the guard. letting Because you know, there is some dreams coming true, see? This has to do with the nine. It's almost complete. We have a six and a seven. See? Letting down that guard. Let's see where this is going with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, see it has to do with building. This has to do with working. Someone needs to let their guard down. Someone has some inner work to do, inner work at letting their guard down. It's also an energy of someone who pushes someone away. This could be someone you work with, but it looks like somebody was, I would, something to do with traveling for work yeah defensive guarded someone being kind of critical like i feel just a little judgmental but let's have another look at this eight yeah see it has to do with reciprocity see somebody i feel is putting out more money that's coming in uh, this is also an energy of somebody who uh, doesn't want to put in the effort because it has to do with somebody who, someone who's stable. Now, that could be yourself. There could be this other energy of this Aries, Leo, Sag, or Scorpio, or just somebody who's in that um, that energy. It could be just an energy of someone who's really determined and doesn't give up. But what's so interesting is they're comparing you to this other person is what I feel. You see? Because there's love here. There's a choice between two. Someone back and forth, on and off. Tell me about this King of Swords. What is it they, what are they thinking? Yeah, see, something about justice, commitment, marriage. Someone just right, see? This is someone who already knew you were the, that you were just right. See? Yeah, see, this someone maybe didn't treat you right, but here this energy, you've showered abundance on this person, but I feel they weren't reciprocating. They may have even been reaching out to other people or someone else was reaching out to them. But yeah, I feel, you know, we know that Empress energy, somebody with the Empress energy, somebody who knows what they want and don't settle. This person failed to recognize they didn't see it. Some of you, it's Libra. Some of you, it's uh, Gemini. But this could be yourself for some of you. But others of you, this is a Gemini. You can flip the energy here. But it really has to do with justice and balance and being fair. There we go. <laughs> 
I can't believe that came out. You know, this is when the moon comes out like this. There's always a little confusion in a reading, well, especially with this going on. My goodness. But yeah, see, it has to do with two people doing things just right. Some of you may cut someone out because they didn't treat you right. Or this other person did. Yeah, I mean, we got a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy here now, Libra. Yeah. Some of you, the Libra is the masculine energy. It's an energy of power. It has to do with uh, somebody who's just stronger, more, str more, you know, stronger strategically. Somebody who analyzes that much harder. So sometimes that's all it's about. Really look at the genders, but um, most of the time in my readings, you'll see the masculine and feminine energies, but it's not always a, a gender thing. Let's have a look at the Queen of Swords. Why is this here? Yeah, see, somebody here, one last cut someone out, one last look over their shoulder, uh, moving on. So it has to do with someone taking a risk. See, some, someone gave someone, maybe you gave this person advice. Maybe there's something you told them that was actually true. I, what is going on here? I seen that a moment ago, and then it kind of... Um, it was on the tip of my tongue, yeah? So it looks like it has to do with choosing someone right. Maybe you told this person that, you know, they weren't, this other person wasn't right for them, okay? And sometimes it's advice, and it has to do with taking a risk. See, it's this energy of taking a risk. But, yeah, I feel like maybe you took a risk and decided to just cut this person out and go off. I do see some Scorpio for some of you. But, you know, there's definitely uh, an energy of somebody who, let's have a look at this Four of Cups. Why is that Four of Cups here with the transition? This is somebody changing how they think. Yeah, see, this is somebody going through some kind of change. You see how they feel. This is someone feeling, not feeling very confident. It's a lack of confidence. Now, it could be someone coming in to apologize, but sometimes it's a person who makes up excuses. I feel like you're seeing kind of through this energy, to be honest, Libra. Yeah, this is someone who often just makes up excuses. Um, maybe this is someone who told you a story. They're painting a picture. It's often a person just tells you what you want to hear, but I definitely do see a lack of confidence. Somebody wasn't confident about a decision, but they took a risk and did it anyway. I feel like you may have said something to this person. Somebody is not right. This is someone who's not right for someone. And it could be a big age difference or somebody who's a single parent or someone who wants children. They're young. They're still of childbearing years. See, the mother of the children. But I'm going to tell you, I don't think this person got what they wanted. I don't think they got what they wanted from this person. They're reconsidering something here. I'll tell you, if they are at a distance, they may be wanting to come and see you, but it's often a person who reaches out, they're fishing for information, they want to know something. Because something is incomplete. See, there's that sippy cup. They offered one little cup, nothing more. You see? Let's have a look at the nine. And maybe it's yourself. Maybe it's you who took a risk. Maybe you decided to walk away from someone. You took a risk with someone else, and then you didn't get what you wanted. Okay, because it's almost like it's almost like you share the energies, but it's like different people. Um, it's hard to put the finger on it exactly, you know. <laughs> Sometimes when things are confusing, it's like you know, but you can't quite put your finger on it. Yeah. Let's have a look at this Nine of Cups. Yeah, see multiple opportunities, things speeding up. So it's an energy of someone who's been there, done that. Yeah, I see walking away. I feel like, you know, I feel like you took a risk. You took your passion and energy elsewhere. Now, some of you, you may have ended something, walked away from someone to take a risk with this other person and then didn't get what you wanted. So, yeah, I you know it's really, really interesting energy, this. But I feel here it has to do with someone putting in the effort to reach out. There is somebody here, I feel, kind of hoping 
I feel this is someone who's afraid to put themselves out there too, right? Because uh, often it's a person who uh, gets chased, they get a lot of attention, but it's also an energy where someone keeps moving on. They keep moving away to avoid a disaster. But I feel it's an energy of someone learning something here. Let's have a look at that Six of Swords. Yeah, so you're waiting for somebody who's possibly at a distance. And it's an energy of something that's the seed that was planted before. Whatever you put out there is about to come back to you. Now, maybe you set someone free to explore other options, to see someone else. Maybe you decided to just let them go and change your focus. Because if they're not focused on you or they're focused on another person, or maybe you have someone who's just focused all on their children, you know, um, like I say, you may have someone here who's all about their uh, children or a child with someone else. Like, I don't know if this is something for you, but these are all the little things I'm seeing. I can't quite fit them into a, a perfect storyline. So just take what resonates. But yeah, I see that whatever it is, you, you set somebody free. I feel you waited and then you set someone free. But this this is waiting for this. See, it's coming back to you. You know, sometimes when you set someone free and then they come back to you, you know, but I don't know. I think you're going to be careful what you believe. I do feel like you're going to be a little careful. Yeah. See about whether you can count on this person, if they're stable, reliable, if this is something successful and long term. But I do see some victories. I see this energy of acknowledging um, some some victories and some success. It's definitely financial. Um, but I feel here it has to do with partnering up, whether you can count or rely on this person to be stable. It's an energy of needing to feel safe and secure. See? Yeah, maybe this person thought you were chasing them for money. Maybe, you, you know, they thought they thought that you thought they were well off. I don't think they were. Um but they definitely, oh, this is unrequited love here, I'll tell you. This is somebody here is definitely thinking of partnering up. They're reconsidering. I feel this is someone who kept feelings to themselves. I do. I feel it's the secret is their feelings, emotions. But I feel like they were comparing you to someone or they were seeing someone else. So it's like it's it started off on the wrong foot. They may not have they may have kept it secret, kept it from you at first. I feel this was some of back and forth, kind of in that reconsidering energy. Mm -hmm. They're seeing things kind of different here. Let's have a look at the Six of Pentacles. You probably know all these things, but I do see this leap of faith, this taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. See, but I feel now you're more practical and sensible. Uh, I feel like you've kind of... I've taken enough risks here and I feel as though you're going to calculate any other risks okay yeah I I, I feel like you're uh in a different place here but there it is see this is, has to do with how someone conducts themselves it has to do with um being faithful now it could be somebody who wasn't faithful sometimes you know if a relationship starts out with uh, people who aren't being faithful, they're coming together while they're still connected to other people. There's always that fear of that happening between two people. So, yeah, I feel it's there's a need to heal, to release negative thoughts and energy. Take a little bit of a break here. Someone here is definitely taking a break, I feel, from dating. Okay, and I feel it's because they need to uh, kind of look at this energy. But they are definitely a person who needs to take the lead. They need to be the one to decide uh, when they're ready, okay? And it will likely be out of the blue, spontaneous, but I feel it's telling you to be careful what you're manifesting, okay? Be a little careful what you're manifesting here. A little bit of caution, I feel. Yeah, the signs are kind of warning you, I feel, a little bit, but like I say, it could be uh, trust issues, things like that, but just sort of look at the red flags, yeah. And then we have uh, Ten of Pentacles. This is energy of someone reaching out. See, it has to do with someone putting in the effort to reciprocate. It's how they conduct themselves, their habits, the lifestyles. It's about two people being on the same page. I feel like you, uh, and I'm going to tell you, there's something they're telling you. And I feel like you're, maybe you, this person was quite open with you about this. Okay. At first, I feel it was a secret, and then I feel this person apologize. But this is the person who, maybe you failed to recognize what was going on here. 
maybe you didn't see it, you know, but it's like they're, you're, they're telling you something and you're just setting them free to go off on their own path. Yeah, you know, and it, it, it's almost like they told you something and you told them this person's not right for them. This isn't somebody who's right, okay, or it's something like that. Uh, yeah, I, God, it's interesting. This could be a friendship, you know. This could be a very deep friendship with you and this person. Maybe you're still friends with them. I don't know. But it has to do with two people being on the same page. And that's what made me see this. This They weren't really on the same page with the other person. Maybe they, this person was younger, wanted children. Maybe they already had children, been there, done that. But it's like they kept it to themselves. Okay. It's like they made excuses to themselves. But whatever's going on here, I, you know, there's definitely was love. I... I so whatever it is, the seeds were planted in the past. There's the abundance coming, the communication. This is waiting for this person to share their feelings. Well, they're certainly thinking about it, but I don't know. You may not feel the same. I got to be honest. It could be you reconsidering not feeling the same because it's a should I or shouldn't I struggle to make a decision. You may have other opportunities, but then you're, you know, the th thing is, is back and forth. So then I could miss this chance, this opportunity. Some of you have a choice between two. You're making some kind of choice here. You might just decide to friend zone someone. If you have someone who comes in and they just want to be friends, I would be a little careful. Okay. A little cautious, red flags, just be sure. But yeah, I... I see someone with Taurus energy, possibly, but it has to do with someone's habits, traditions, the way they conduct themselves. See, somebody here may not be faithful. The grass is always greener, and that's why I feel it. Someone is kind of fickle, but I also feel this is someone who's leveling up, which is interesting. Their path in life. See, they're looking at their path. You know, relationships, things they didn't get, things they wanted. You know, they've never been completely emotionally fulfilled. And I'll be honest, I feel this person was happy times they spent with you. I, you know, but regardless, like I say, I would be, I don't know if you still feel the same. It almost looks like this might be too much work. Um, yeah, some of you have other things going on. Negotiation contracts for work. Well, you may not be making a lot of money, so you may be making a decision to relocate or move on, move to another job uh, where you will have more success, a higher paid position. So there could be a negotiation uh, here too for some of you, other things going on. Yeah. I feel like this is someone who's never been married. Somebody here has never been married. It feels like the king of swords, but... It could go the other way, uh, being the king and queen of swords are right there. But we definitely have uh, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio. King of swords can be a Scorpio sometimes too. Is sometimes a person who can kind of sting, right? <laughs> that sort out, the scorpion sting. But I don't feel that super strong. There's definitely Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio and definitely Sag energy. Somebody here has dated a lot of people. I don't. I think we got someone who's dated a lot of people. They've had some fairly long-term relationships. Nothing super long-term, but I don't think they've ever been married. Yeah, I feel like you already know everything you need to know. I feel this is someone who shared some kind of secret with you, maybe something about their childhood. I feel like you kept it to the, yourself. They may have shared something with you. Okay. Yeah. You may have said something to this person. I feel like almost like someone's reminiscing, but I feel also someone's trying to remember something and they can't remember something. Yeah, all kinds of little things here. Let's see what the outcome. Trust your intuition. It's going to guide you. If something doesn't feel right, see, it's about taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. If it feels right, you may go for it. If it doesn't, I feel like you're going to keep moving on here. You're not going to reciprocate. More than likely, just keep them in the friend zone if that's where they are. Yeah, it's coming together. You've got two people coming together. It's possible. Yeah, see, just breathe. This is someone getting in touch with their inner self. Okay. 
Yeah, just calming down. See, it's energy just calming down. Um, somebody's definitely learning uh, some lessons here. But what's so inter interesting is we have an empress, which I feel, of course, is yourself, Libra. It, you know your worth and value. Um, but, uh, you know, to be honest here, I feel this is someone who's still kind of on that path uh, to becoming an emperor. Okay. Uh, learning all the lessons of the emperor. Because I feel they have king of swords and king of cups. Now, they're very intelligent, very strategic. They're smart, there's no doubt. And they are emotionally mature, but they have a tendency to keep those feelings within. You see? Yeah, it's also a person who likes to be indulged. They're used to getting what they want, used to being indulged by people. See? And this is sometimes the queen of pentacles, someone who indulges you know, they give they make someone so comfortable <laughs> there could be children involved too someone who has children at home where they make them so comfortable they don't want to they don't want to leave home they don't want to go off on their own so there could be some of that energy there for some of you so there could be you know something going on there too you know queen of pentacles is is uh Somebody who has a very comfortable home, usually cooks very well, you know, makes everybody comfortable. Um, especially with young people, they don't always want to leave. Well, who'd want to leave that, right? Yeah, it's kind of interesting. But one more card for Libra. Yeah, see, bringing in joy. You got joy and stability coming, and I feel this is what somebody wants. Somebody has never been completely fulfilled. They've never really got what they wanted. Now, I feel this is someone who's likely made a decision. Um, they're probably regretting it with that Five of Cups energy. They could have children from this other person. You may have been there, done that. You may not be interested uh, because of it. But it's up to you to decide, okay? Because this is someone I feel like you set free. You know, this is someone coming back to you, I feel. Something that started some time ago. A seed was planted, and this, this is you waiting for the abundance. And I actually feel like it's going to come, but I'm not so sure you still want it. Um, okay, so we'll see. You might. I feel like there is this energy of, it has to do with this person taking the lead, being the leader. Okay. Don't take the lead. Don't, don't take the lead. Okay, if this person feels insecure or they lack the confidence to, just let them sort this out and figure things out for themselves. I, I can tell you, this is somebody who needs to take the lead. Okay, it's a, it may be a struggle for them at some point. I don't think this person's generally uh, super insecure or shy. I just feel it's something to do with you about them. They are probably a little worried you might reject them. Maybe you've rejected them before. They don't deal with that well. Their ego gets in the way, okay? So uh, maybe like if you are interested, just, you know, or if you're too busy or you can't go, be careful how you communicate. But honestly, I feel this is someone who's likely rejected a lot of people. It's like nobody's good enough. But I'll tell you, there is no one like you. And I do feel any time you spent with them, they've been very happy. But I feel this is someone who's really messed up here. Yeah. So I wish you the best. You do have joy and stability coming regardless. You, know, you got someone who's financially stable. So I feel somebody here is focused on their money, investing in their money. They're kind of detaching, taking a break, likely keeping it to themselves. It's an energy of a person planning ahead, preparing uh, their future. They definitely see. So we, we have the power couple here now. You, like I say, you might move on from someone. Who's coming back around somebody you you set free to go do whatever it is they needed to do it could have started when you were young where you just kind of went your separate ways but like i say you might be have somebody else here see the crossroads taking it to the next level but it could be the same person uh, somebody here who you know, wants to take things to the next level someone has never taken a relationship to the next level or they've been mar maybe married once and they've been single. It's somebody definitely set in their ways. I do feel there's that. It's a person who feels they've been single for quite some time. And if they have been in a relationship or a marriage, it's once. Others of you, I don't think this person's ever made it there, especially if they're a Gemini. Okay? Because I can see that connection. But there it is. See? Walking away. Two people searching. Taking things. If somebody won't take things to the next level, 
whatever that means to you, introducing to friends and family or going out in public or committing, uh, you will walk away, okay? Uh, you will walk away and move towards somebody more stable. But I feel this is somebody else who's left someone else behind and heading in your direction. So, because there's a lot of walking away. There's three cards with that energy. But the, walking away is someone who's searching, searching. The grass is greener on the other side. They're searching for the one, okay? <laughs> the person who fills their cups. Make sure they fill your cups too, okay? Take care, Libra. I wish you the best and bye for now.